Hey, what is going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you an operating system that was just released for Mac and PC. So if you have a Mac and a PC, you can essentially install this on a USB drive or a, you can run it off a DVD drive. And this operating system is actually from the Raspberry Pi. If you guys ever heard of the Raspberry Pi, which is basically a bare bones machine. It, it looks like a little bit, a little motherboard and it runs the Raspberry Pi Pixel. Now, not to be confused with the Pixel OS that belongs to Google, this, this for some odd reason is also called Pixel, and this is the Raspberry Pi operating system. So the Raspberry Pi operating system is actually, it works right off the bat. So I actually installed this on my USB drive. I have a Kingston 3.0 Data Traveler USB stick. It's 64 gigabytes. So I actually uh, downloaded the... Um, program off, uh, I'll uh, put the link in the description below, I don't remember it off the top of my head right now, but I basically uh, downloaded off that, then I burned the ISO image onto a USB stick, very simple, they have guides all over the net for this. So what I really like about this operating system that I'm using right now is, it's first off, it's very, very basic. So the panel that you see right here at the bottom here, where I'm pointing with the mouse, was actually on the top, I actually moved it. So I'm just going to show you guys what I, I had it like that before and I just moved it to the bottom just to give it a more Windows like feel. Now don't expect this um, operating system to do pretty much what your um, regular operating system, your PC, Windows or uh, Mac operating system does. But this is very basic, you could uh, use it for schoolwork and uh, you know stuff like that. And I'm just going to show you guys quickly that it does have Libre, it already comes pre-installed with LibreOffice. Uh, draw, impress, math, writer, so you can use it uh, for school. Another thing um, that this, that this, uh, what I really like about this is the fact that Bluetooth wor works right off the bat, and the wireless connection that I'm connected to. So, if you guys take, if you guys look right here, I just, I, I was able to um, connect to the wireless network right away without typing in sudo uh, uh, upgrade uh, all this all this trash all this kind of stuff which I'm uh, which I did in, in in the in the in the past downloading a uh, actually using a um, a Linux uh, a Linux system so this works right off the bat uh, at least for me I am running this off my HP NV14 first generation. Um, so now this operating system already comes pre-installed with some games on it if you guys didn't want to play some games or if you just wanted to use this as a simple internet machine or running Facebook, YouTube, it uh, does use the Chromium browser, not the Chrome browser, but the Chromium browser, but, uh, pretty much the same, I think Chrome works off the Chromium browser. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to go into YouTube. And as you can see here, YouTube works right off the bat. Now I don't want to I don't want to play somebody else's channel here, in case they flag my video. So I'm gonna go ahead to my channel and see what videos I have there. I'm gonna play one of my latest videos for you guys just to show you that it works very well actually. So you have all the settings here, the quality, and uh, the only thing is the buttons on my laptop, the buttons for the volume don't work. So I need to manually raise the volume right here if I want to raise the volume so I'm just going to lower the right there uh, now if you did want to use it for Facebook it works for Facebook it works pretty much for every website that I test it with Let's see if I go to go to dig or if I go to reddit again I would actually say that this is more of an internet machine just because of the limited amount of applications that you do have with it but this is more for the programmer, people who like to experiment with different types of code and stuff like that. It does come pre-installed with certain programming uh, languages. I'm not familiar with any of this, so I can't really say. I can't really say much about that. But in terms of it working um, as, as a um, mobile PC that you can carry around with you on a USB stick. So if you ever needed to access your computer on the move with uh, having your file saved onto that USB drive, then I would definitely recommend the system. I actually have it on a keychain. Again, I have it on a keychain Kingston Traveler USB stick. I will definitely carry this around and keep my files, my pictures, uh, certain documents on there 
which uh, I just had on there before without the operating system. So I just want to show you guys some of the other things that this um, that this actually has. So as you can see here, I switched the background, and the way I did that was I went into Desktop Preferences, which uh, I got to by right-clicking on the desktop. And um, I just switched it from here in this folder right here. I can switch it to a balloon, switch it to bridge. They have all these, and if they have all these uh, background images here. If you, if you did want to download your own, you can just go ahead and download it off the net. Find a, find a nice image there that you like and download it and customize it to that image. Uh, some of the other things that you can do here is customize the menu bar. As you guys saw before, I moved it from the top to the bottom, back and forth. Um, let's see here. Switch this to medium. You can switch the bar to a very small size. Have it to a larger size. You can switch the color of it. So if you did want a different color, so it does have some customizing options on there, as you guys as you guys saw right there, you could customize that. Kind of cool actually, if you ask me. Let's go ahead and change that again to like a nice light blue. Give it a nice windows look to it. Um, so essentially what you can use this for is a nice media P PC that you can carry around. You can uh, media disk operating system, I suppose, where you plug it into your friend's laptop or any computer and you have all your movies on there and you just play it off that instead of having to um, go, instead of having to use your friend's operating system or your school's operating system, you just boot off the USB drive. So guys, anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Definitely take a look at it. I will have links to that in the description. Uh, the operating system is called Pixel by Raspberry Pi. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.